Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. One of the questions I get a lot, both from my patients in clinic, honestly, but I get online as well as, you know, I have had this injury, maybe I had surgery for it, should I try to get back to you know, whatever it is that they like to do, but you know, running, playing soccer, playing football, or would I be better giving that up to preserve my health down the road? In fact, it probably wasn't a few months ago I answered that same question as it pertained to ACL injuries. I've asked, uh, answered that same question about meniscus tears and a number of other ones. And in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I'm gonna answer that question about a really difficult injury of the ankle, Achilles tendon ruptures. Mike in Chicago asks, Good evening, Dr. Geyer. I'm a 28-year-old active male who sustained an Achilles rupture one year ago playing basketball. At nine months post-op, I was back to playing basketball when I tore the lateral meniscus in the same leg I had the Achilles surgery. Would you recommend removal of the damaged meniscus and recommend, recommend staying away from basketball after these two types of injuries at my age? I'd love to continue playing if my body would stay together. Any tips or input would be greatly appreciated. Okay, that's really tricky and I will mention the, the meniscus tear. You know, I think that that can be an injury that's really hard to play through. That's that C-shaped piece of uh, cartilage. You have one on either side of each knee and when it tears, you know, for an active person that's really involved in aggressive sports, exercise, it can be really difficult because you get really sharp pain with twisting motions, like changing directions. So very often people have surgery and a lot of times that involves trimming out the part of the meniscus that's torn. Now, like I said, I've talked about long-term issues with that, but just real briefly, what that involves is basically you, know, you lose some of the shock absorber in the knee and there's concern that 10, 20 years down the road, you develop arthritis changes. In sports medicine, we like to get people what you know back to what they like to do. You know, it can be you know really aggressive basketball. So generally, I think that the, it's okay for people to go back, but they have to know that that risk exists. And you know, maybe you don't play six days a week. Maybe you play four days a week, something like that. But that's that's the thought long term after meniscus surgery, especially trimming out the part of the meniscus that's torn. Let's talk a little bit about Achilles tendon ruptures though. That's the tendon in the back of the ankle. You know, when it when somebody ruptures it, they feel like they got shot in the back of their ankle or somebody kicked them in the back of the ankle. It's a very loud, it's almost like an explosion that, you know, people say that sometimes their teammates can hear it. Really, really difficult. In active people, very frequently we fix it surgically, basically sewing it back together, even though some people can basically heal it without surgery, basically in a cast or a boot for six or eight or 12 weeks. But in really active people, we basically repair it. That can be a really tricky injury. We can get people back to exercise and doing sort of daily activities, but high level sports, it can be really hard. There was a study a few years ago looking at Achilles ruptures in NBA players. You know, they're probably the most you know, the highest level athletes there are anywhere in the world. And it looked at you know, NBA players that had Achilles ruptures and basically a third of them never got back to play at all. A third of them that did get back to play never were the same players. They're basically their minutes dropped, minutes played dropped, their rebounds per game dropped, their, their points scored per game dropped. So their performance overall, they got back, but their performance dropped. And then a third of the people did get back to the same level. So a third of the people would be what you call successes. They got back to play and at the same level, a third got back to play, but weren't quite the same people. And then a third people never got back to play at all. So it can be really tricky. We do those because it's really hard to get back if that doesn't heal really well. It's just those are the things to think about. So absolutely, you wanna make your goal to do as well as you can, but I wouldn't go into an Achilles surgery thinking hey you know I'm an elite NFL player I'm a you know elite recreation league basketball player and think that you're never gonna have a problem again the goal would be that but you know are you gonna have the same explosiveness the same you know vertical leap the same power planning ability to change directions that can be really tricky we go in expecting the best rehabbing you after surgery uh, to have you have the best outcome but it can be really challenging 
Okay, have you had an Achilles rupture and how did you uh, do after surgery or did you have surgery? Did you get back to the sport you wanted to get back to and were you as good or after the surgery as you were before? Or did you get back to uh, you know jogging, maybe lifting weights, CrossFit, those kind of things? I'd love to hear your experiences. So below this video, share your comments, share your thoughts, your experiences. I'd love to read it read what you have to say, but I think it would really help other people going through the same problem as well. So leave your comments below this video. If you know somebody that's had an Achilles tendon rupture, you know, active, they play sports or exercise, please share this video with them. I you know, really want to help as many people uh, as we can. And so share this video so that maybe they can uh, learn more about kind of the thought process that goes into recovery and return to sports after Achilles tendon surgeries. Now, if you like more uh, information like this on injuries, and injury treatments and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. You know, I record a couple of these videos every single week and I'd love to deliver those directly to you. And last, there's so many resources uh, on ways to stay healthy and perform your best that I only share uh, with my email subscribers. So go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, enter your name and your email address right at the very top of the page, and I'll share those resources, you know, video, audio, written content, on a regular basis with you. So subscribe, and I'd love to connect with you that way. Thank you so much for watching. Really enjoyed doing this. Remember, if you have, uh, if you've had an Achilles rupture, I'd love to hear your experiences, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.